Hello everyone, welcome back to the third unit. In this, we will be starting our third unit that is producer behavior and supply. Under this, these topics are being covered in your syllabus. That is the production function, cost, revenue, producer equilibrium, supply and elasticity of supply. So, let's study the producer behavior and supply unit. The first topic in this we will be covering is production function and return to factors. Now, what is production function? See, when you produce some things using your machines, your raw materials, you get an output. Let's say you want to manufacture a shirt. You need cotton, yarn, you need threads, you need sewing machines. You need electricity, labor, investment, right? These are the, these all things you require for the manufacturing of shirt. So, here this shirt will be your output. And all of these are your inputs. Or you can say these all are your factors of production. So what is production function? Production function gives you the relationship between the physical input and the physical output which in economics is termed as production function so the production function studies the functional relationship between physical inputs and physical output of a commodity. Your production function is denoted by Qx, which is the function of labor and capital. So, you require 10 hours with the capital of 2 lakh, right, to get an output of, let's say, 30 t-shirts. So, this is the physical input and gives you the physical output of 30 t-shirts so this is your production function let's say for 40 t-shirts you require 5 hours of labor and 4 units of capital right so this is your production function your production function is only the technical relation between your inputs and outputs that it will give you the units of outputs and the units of inputs it is not the economic relation that your production function just shows the number of units that are produced, the output and the number of units that are the inputs used to get the output, right? It is not the economic relations, that it does not give you the economic profit.
the profit you can calculate the revenue you can easily calculate by your outputs into your selling price so this is the economic profit so this is the economic relationship but your production functions just tell the output and your input relationships like you have made 50 t-shirts out of your uh, 10 labors uh, 10 labor hours and your 2 20000 of investment it's just telling you how many you output you have got from your input applications this is not giving you any kind of economic relationship so your production function is only the technical uh, technical relationship or the functional relationship it is not the economic relationship